Welcome to No Huntsville Presents Front Row. I'm your host, Scott Eason. This is our inaugural episode. We're very happy uh, that you're joining us today. Front Row is going to cover all things comedy here in Huntsville. We're going to highlight some of the best comedians, the best shows, all the comedy happenings. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. We're very excited to have you here. Today, we're joined by our first guest. uh, And this gentleman that is joining me today, he is a comedian, uh, one of my long-term friends here in comedy. We've been doing it just about the same time, which is about eight years. And also, he works for the wonderful comedy club here in town, Stand Up Live. I'm joined today by Jonathan Craig. Say hello, Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. All yeah, right, Jonathan's out there. <laughs> uh, we're happy to have you here today, man. Uh, uh, on our Thank first episode Thank of Front Row, and it. I thought you were a great person to have on here because what I want to do today is just talk a little bit about the history of Huntsville comedy, how we got here, and also uh, we're very happy to say Stand Up Live is a sponsor of the program, and you're going to see a lot more of Jonathan because he is going to be on an episode every month where he does the breakdown of what's going to happen at Stand Up Live. So we're yeah, very absolutely. happy to have you here. You're going to see a lot of Jonathan. Uh, maybe some discounts, some free stuff, stuff like that. For yeah, the- lots of cool watching. stuff. So you want to make sure that you uh, that you like the No Huntsville page and subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, so let's talk about it real quick. So, I mean, we've basically had a, a, a fully functional great comedy scene in Huntsville since... 2011 yeah you know it's kind of when when it all kind of kicked off but uh like i said we both started around the same time let's talk about that real quick when we first started there wasn't anything here there was there wasn't even a open mic for comics we were literally just crashing crashing music music open mics mics. (laughs) we'd bribe the host into giving us a 30 minute segment to go up and Mm -hmm. and tell some jokes everybody would get like five minutes and then we'd have to give the host like five shots of tequila exactly yeah and And then then at humphreys they they hate us so much they said you can do the intermission yeah and when that, no one cared and just got up and screamed and then that got pushed back to <laughs> yeah. 11 o'clock then midnight mm-hmm. and 1 a.m mm-hmm. yeah but we go through it man we go through it and push yeah. forward and luckily we've uh, found a lot of people who come out and like comedy and have supported comedy here in huntsville along the way yeah well i think that's the crazy thing when we first started doing this like i said we were crashing music open mics and we were doing everything we could and we were so hopeful that something would happen and then finally in 2011 uh justin ledlow uh who uh is a is a good friend of ours who actually started epic comedy hour the show that i run now uh we had no idea that there was a want for comedy. We just wanted to do it. So when he yeah. set up the first show at the Low Mill in July of 2011, 268 people came to the first show. Yeah. And we have been running that show ever since. We just celebrated our eight-year anniversary. So it just goes to show there was a hunger for comedy here in Huntsville, and we just kind of found a niche and we scratched it. Yeah, that's uh, a leap of faith, by the way. I it mean, was. You don't know if four people are going to show up or 400 <laughs> people. <laughs> exactly. Got right exactly. Middle, so. You just never know. Well, it's also like when you look back, I mean, none of us were any good. I mean, oh, it yeah. was, no, it are was you terrible. serious? Like, oh man, <laughs> I terrible. go back and watch my stuff from way back then. I'm like, how did oh, I get no. laughs? People oh. paid me for this. I back know, then? Like, no, no, what? no. Oh, I current, I fight people all the time to remove things from YouTube. Yeah. I don't want, you know, <laughs> I'm like in the witness protection program. Like, you got to take it down. I'm yeah. gonna get murdered. Uh, I had a hit out on. Him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, oh man, and now I remember. Coming up, you know, I always wanted to try comedy. We didn't have that platform. We kind of built it ourselves. But before before then, like, we didn't have anything going on. But occasionally you'd have a comedian come to the VBC uh, or maybe the Officers Club out there. Yeah. And for, for some of you uh, older people that might be joining us, if you remember, we had a comedy club here until 1990. Yeah. And then after that, we literally had a 27-year gap before there was a comedy club here. Uh, and now we're very fortunate to have the wonderful Stand Up Live. Yeah. Uh, so tell us a little, you work there currently, Jonathan, you're a yeah. comedian, but you also work uh, in the business side of comedy. Tell us a little bit about Stand Stand Up yeah, Live. Yeah, so I'm, I'm one of the uh, assistant managers there at Stand Up Live. I do a, a, a lot of different things there from uh, promotions, marketing, sales, and uh, everything other than, you know, make the food, cook it, serve it, and all that stuff, which is great. Well, I don't so, want you in the I'm kitchen, that's for cook, sure. So, we don't want you there. Yeah, I don't blame you. But yeah. yeah, I do a lot of different things there. I'm happy to be part of it, uh, and, you know, to get that opportunity. But, you know, Stand Up Live, we bring in some of the best talent across uh, America, across the world even. We bring international comics here. Definitely, yeah. Um, and, you know, it's it's something that Huntsville has definitely needed. And, you know, it's an A room. It's A lot of people have comedy yes. clubs in their town. Yes. But some of them are just like they bring the C list or 
B list comics. These are A list comics. Some of the ones that are out there touring, uh, doing big, vin- bigger venues, and they are having oh, yeah. Huntsville. Well, I mean, just recently you had Dave Attell, who's literally a living legend living of comedy. Legend, absolutely. I mean, we've had, I've been very fortunate enough to perform with a lot yeah. of just unbelievable we've headliners and celebrities. Yeah. We, we've had Tom Segura, you know, Sinbad. Sinbad. Sinbad's yeah. coming back uh, yeah. just like a month or so from now. Too many to list, really. Yeah, I, I mean, there just, are too many to list. And it continues on. And the great thing is, I mean, it's a fully functional comedy club, meaning you literally have a headliner or some kind of comedy event every weekend on the calendar. So you get 52 yeah. weeks of comedy or entertainment through the year, plus whatever happening through the week. Yeah, and not just the big names. I mean, those are yeah. easy to mention, and mm-hmm. everyone can go on our, cal- on our calendar, look at the website, and see those. But, you know, we we're also want to support the local talent, the regional talent, because uh, that's the next big wave. You know, eventually you don't know who's going to come up and be the next. Oh yeah, big of course. Star well, I mean, that's so. the whole thing with the comedy club. You kind of want to be the uh, the the venue that puts somebody on the map. You know, that gives yeah. them the opportunity, lets them grow. So, I mean, as you said, local talent, but also some people you've never heard of that are just absolutely fantastic that just are getting their first opportunity to do the club circuit. Absolutely. So it's really I mean, that's great. what we would want. I mean, anybody who we bring in, whether it's on a Wednesday, a Thursday on a Friday, Saturday night, a Sunday, whatever night of the week you come out and see a show, mm-hmm. trust us. They've gone through a, a process where we vetted them. We we made sure they're funny we, or else we wouldn't pay them to do it. So, of course, of course. Uh, if you could trust us, if you're just looking for something to do on a random <laughs> Thursday night, yeah. check the calendar. You might get a deal. We, sometimes if you sign up to our email list, you'll get some yeah. great discounts. Or if you follow Front Row, you'll get some discounts. Exactly. Follow Front Row and, and No Huntsville, and yeah. you'll get promotional codes and all kinds of uh, uh, good with that. You can also visit Stand Up Live's website, which is huntsville.standuplive.com and you can, uh, can you sign up for the, the email list yeah, on, the on the website? Yeah, you can the website. We have an email club tab. You click on it, mm-hmm. put in your information. We don't sell your information. We keep it all for ourselves. We're greedy That's like great. that, you know, mm-hmm. uh, but we will send you some deals where you'll give you the first to know about upcoming shows. You get free tickets that. on your birthday. Free tickets for your birthday month. Yeah. On your birthday. birthday. Oh, well, mm-hmm. sure, sure, sure. Okay. Well, right. well excuse mm-hmm. me. <laughs> it's got to be specific. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, but well, no, that's great. That's great. Well, I mean, it's awesome having that club here in Huntsville. It's a huge opportunity for local comedians, but also our audiences to be able to see such a wide variety of comics from the A-list to the up-and-comers. But also, let's talk a little bit about the local comedy Absolutely. scene here, which, of course... We wouldn't have Stand Up Live if it wasn't for the local scene. And the work that was put in exactly. over seven. Yeah. Uh, By me, you, years. and uh, too many people to name. There's a lot yeah. of people that came in on the ground floor that we're very thankful for. But uh, let's talk about just the, the local lineup of shows. And, of course, on future episodes of Front Row, we'll talk more about these. So you want to make sure that you like our page and uh, so, you can, so you can hear the first news about upcoming shows and all the cool stuff. Looking for a place to have your corporate event or holiday party? Stand Up Live's got you covered, guys. Stand Up Live is a fantastic venue seats 350 people they have fantastic food and they can offer a variety of acts to entertain everybody here's a special deal for you if you use the code no huntsville stand up live is going to give you 10 percent off that corporate event or holiday party visit the website join the email list contact them they'll take care of you jonathan he's head of all corporate and holiday parties talk to him he's going to take great care of you use that code no huntsville to get 10 percent off Enjoy that party. But uh, on the first weekend of the month, uh, on the first Friday, we have Awesome Comedy Hour, which is at The Bottle on 72. Uh, Yeah, You can find that on Facebook at Awesome Comedy Hour. It's a great show. We bring seven comedians from all over the country. It's absolutely free, and they have one of the best beer selections in town, so you're going to want to check that out. On the second Friday of the month, we have Homegrown Comedy, which is at Straight to Ale in the Speakeasy. That's only five bucks, and of course, you get to be at the beautiful Speakeasy with wonderful Straight to Ale uh, beverages, so you want to check that out. The third weekend of the month, Yellowhammer hosts a show called Laughs and Drafts, Um, and uh, that's a free show. You're going to want to check that out. And then on the fourth Friday... Epic Comedy Hour, run by myself, Tim Kelly, and Elliot White. It's a, it's a fantastic show. You're going to want to check that out. Fourth Friday of every month. It's $8. It's BYOB since it's at the Barking Dog Theater at the Low Mill. We definitely want you there. And then, of course, we have different pop-up shows, all kinds of cool things happening. We have open mics right now. Yeah. We have the Monday open mic at Maggie Myers over on University Drive. Uh, that's every Monday at 8 p.m. We have Wednesdays at Copper Top. That's yep. every Wednesday at 9. Longest running and open mic we've had. Long, uh, it's probably the longest running open mic in Alabama, which that. is right here in yeah. Huntsville on every Wednesday. And 
Stay tuned, guys, because we are going to be adding new open mics here in Huntsville very, very soon at some of the coolest venues we have to offer here in town. So we're very excited to mix the local scene here with the club, with Stand Up Live. And hey, and also through the end of the year, Stand Up Live has booked some open mics on Sundays. Check those yes. out starting September 22nd. Uh, we have another one uh, in November and December as well. So, you know, we want to get out and, and try it out at the club level. Uh, it's not too much different than the other way. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, if you just want to step on stand-up live stage, have your picture made, yeah. you know, do some jokes, hey, come out. And, the, and I've done that open mic. The open mic is fantastic. Uh, and as Jonathan said, they've got three scheduled. Make sure you check the stand-up live calendar, uh, which remember, go to stand-up live, uh, their website, and also follow them on Facebook. And while you're at it, if you want to keep abreast of all the comedy happenings, not only like Front Row and No Huntsville, but go ahead and like the Huntsville Comedy page on Facebook, which is going to get a very in-depth calendar of all the comedy happenings here in town. I have uh, to say, I'm pretty impressed that you like committed all that to the dome. Like you memorize all that. I'm so good, you, man. Yeah. I'm a fucking professional. <laughs> all right, you know. So yeah, at least one of us is worship. All right. Well, while we've got you here, Jonathan, uh, as I said, Jonathan is going to be joining us uh, pretty much every month, and we're going to do what we call the Huntsville Comedy Roundup, where we're going to talk about local shows, local happenings, uh, all kinds of cool stuff, but we also want to highlight what's going on at Stand Up Live, because it's a beautiful club, and also they're graciously being our sponsor. So let's talk about the calendar real yeah, quick, absolutely. Jonathan. What's what's happening in September, September at Stand you know, Up Live? We have a lot of huge names coming in September. Uh, first and foremost, we have Mike Epps coming back to Huntsville to Stand mm-hmm. Up Live again. That's going to be September 13th through the 15th. Those That's shows will sell out. Friday through Sunday. And yeah. Yes, they, they will, will sell out. Sell out. Uh, yeah, the last time he was here, you know, we did six shows in two days. We they couldn't get enough, so yeah. uh, he's back for five great shows that weekend. You guys come back oh, and yeah. see him, uh, or if you haven't seen him yet, I I encourage it a lot. I mean, he's he has something for everybody. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then uh, the next weekend after that, September twentieth, twenty first, we have Joe McHale. Uh, you know, he's, he's talk soup, talk soup, and Netflix That's, and yeah, all he has kinds a Joe of cool McHale stuff. Show uh, on uh. Netflix, same format as talk soup, pretty much. Uh, we already mentioned the open mic on September 22nd. You guys come out for that. It's mm-hmm. a free show. Uh, you know, just come out. Of course, there is two item minimum food or drinks, but uh, it's a lot Well of worth it. want to say Stand Up Live has wonderful food, guys. Definitely check out the food at Stand Up Live. Uh, and uh, that open mic will be a ton of fun. You're going to get a lot of bang for your buck, considering you're getting and it for free. September 25th, we have the Funny as Ale comedy competition. That's mm-hmm. uh, a showcase of talent from across the region, southeast and here in Huntsville. Uh, you get the comics up there doing their best bits, and <sighs> with that, uh, we'll declare one winner. You can come out and cheer for the winner. Uh, and you can help decide who the best comedian that night is, guys. And I'm going to say right that here, show. you can get in that show free yep. with the code Front Row. Boom. Boom. See, right we're there. already paying dividends yeah, up so in here. You see this Code right Front now? Row. Type in Front Row. Get or call tickets. the box office of Stand Up Live. Mention the code Front Row. You get in absolutely free on September 25th for Funny as Ale. That's like I said, already show. giving you free stuff, guys. And then, not to, last but not least, I, I can't forget Christopher Titus, the very first comic we beast. had at Stand Up Live. He's yes. going to be here September 27th and 28th. Four I was shows on that only. show. I was on that show. Scott was on that show. <laughs> and what's the bit of trivia yeah. we like to talk about? I was the first person to ever perform on the stage at Stand Up Live, guys. Don't ever forget that. That is it, a fact. It's cool. It's, it's cool. Gonna, it's it's going to be some, It's in my bio. You're it're gonna the go to best, some, it's the best thing about it. You're going to go to some Mexican <laughs> restaurant playing trivia one night. And, that's and gonna they're going to ask question. that. They're so going to ask that. But no, Christopher Titus, let me tell you, from from watching him and working with him, literally living legend, one of the best at it today you get four opportunities to check him out he's unbelievable don't miss that show he routinely does 90 plus minutes on stage yeah. it's absolutely it's amazing exactly september 27th and 28th so that's the month of september at stand up live yep. uh and we'll be back of course uh with uh talking about october next month we'll have jonathan on again as our correspondent from stand up live for the huntsville comedy roundup uh, I think that was a great first episode. Thank you so yeah, much for joining it. us. Thanks for having me, guys. Uh, again, please, guys, like Front Row, like No Huntsville on all your social media uh, channels. And not only do we have Front Row, we have the wonderful Mothership, which is 
the No Huntsville Show, which is going to talk about everything culture-related here in Huntsville. But I am just one of four sub-channels that we've created here at No Huntsville. Of course, we are Front Row. We also have 86th, which, uh, which is a wonderful food show. It's going to cover all kinds of uh, stuff food-related here in Huntsville. We have The Come Up, which is our hip-hop channel, which you definitely don't want to miss that if you're a fan of hip-hop. Huge hip-hop scene in Huntsville that's really kind of been untapped, and we're really trying to dig into that. And we also have Alex Tries, which is kind of a, a community show where we're going to send Alex out, and she's going to try all kinds of things here in Huntsville and let you know all about it. So not only do you have No Huntsville, you got these four fabulous sub-channels. Please find us on Facebook. Like each page. We're going to be putting out quality content for you. I want to thank Jonathan again for joining us, and thank you for No Huntsville for creating these sub-channels. I'm Scott, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Certain things I want in the bedroom that I'm not getting. I'm trying. I'm trying to teach my wife. Like one thing I want, I like to talk dirty in the bedroom. Do you all like to talk dirty? The rest you just leave me up here like a fucking pervert. <laughs> I like talking dirty. My wife can't do it though. She's real bad at it. When my wife talks dirty, she sounds like Ariel from The Little Mermaid. She's like, put the dingle hopper in the whiz bag. Like, what the fuck? Get my wife to say the word pussy in the bedroom is like getting Trump to say he's sorry. It's, it's not gonna happen. The other night I asked her if she was a bad girl, she goes, no. He's fucking throwing you alley oops here. I said, do you like that? She was like, well, actually, I was like, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up. Play time.